Hello and welcome to another episode of Lexicon Reacts. I'm Joseph and I'm joined by... Denise. Hi everybody. Today we're going to be listening to Pink Floyd track. Another brick in the ball with Happiest Days of Our Lives. And this was recommended by Maverick TM. Oh, okay. Recommendation was lost somewhere. <laughs> but here we go. Let's get to this. I think... I'm sorry, before we start. This is from Earl's Court in 1980 and I'm sure that this is the same thing. Take a look at that book just before we start. Sorry. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. And this is Pink Floyd? Yeah, yeah. It's live. Yes. So you got the CDs here inside? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. A bit difficult. Yeah, yeah, no more threat of the leave no, no, no. Okay, here we go. We're speaking Spanish. Yeah. Oh, he was so young there. Yeah. A snapshot in the family album. Daddy, what else did you leave for me? This is from 1980 and it sounds like that futuristic, yeah? yeah. Do you think that it sounds better there? What do you mean? In the concert? In the concert? Well, the concert was a, was, was an experience, wasn't it? Because they mm. they used to like they put like on an act and they built like a huge wall, ah. and they would perform inside the wall as well. And at the end of it, they'd knock the wall down, and it was huge as well. I mean, if you look, you're moving the camera, you too, every time. Be careful! Wow. So, while you was in the concert, you couldn't see them? Yeah, you could. Well, sometimes they play behind the wall, but... Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. And they oh, project stuff on... The they project onto the... Ah. The camera doesn't pick it up that good, though. No? No, not really. Like the images from the film, like you can see. By mm. the wall, yeah. yeah. amazing yeah for that reason as i said i thought that they sound better in the concert than the cd because i never heard the concert okay yeah but i heard the cd before and it's not the same yeah i mean i've got some live versions of the the wall being performed on uh on cd and i've got roger waters doing it but I, and that was Freaking incredible. Mm. All in all, it was all just bricks in the wall.
quick note to see the, hear this helicopter. Yeah. This is what was used on uh, Hounds of Love by Kate Bush as well. This helicopter trek. Mm. Because Dave Gilmore uh, lent, lent the tape to Kate so she could use it. Oh, really? Yeah, because he he, so he, he, he knew the family and he introduced Kate to, to EMI. Oh. Like, which started off her career. Do if this, if the song is so long, how they knew it? Do, do you have any idea? A non musician, how they knew it when they need to carry on? Because I heard um, once, I think that what is the name of the the singer? Uh, on this one, uh -huh. Roger Waters. He shouts something, so they they change like the oh, tone. Oh yeah, yeah, like of, yeah, like uh, signaling. Yeah, be, because it's so long now. It's four minutes playing, and how they know that they would need to change? Well, you we practice before you do it. Wow, please. It's not. It's not really that hard. The plus, no? they were playing the album in sequence as well. So, like, if you look at the, the tracks which are on the CD, there they've just yeah. played, the happiest days of our lives. And they're happy. Happiest days of our lives. Uh -huh. and now they're going to go into another brick in the wall part two. So and they go through the whole whole two discs. Oh. Because that was telling the story of, of the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and which part is this one? So this is just uh, the happiest days of our lives, just finishing. But it says another break in the wall. I know because that's what it leads into. It's a concept album, so all of the tracks lead into each other. Oh. You you told me that another band or another musician do the same. Who was? Pink Radiohead. Floyd. Pink Floyd. No. Yeah, when you we were don't. listening to Animals the other day. No, no, no. But it was somebody else. Radiohead, and then they created another song that it was. Oh, match. okay. So you're talking about uh, in in Rainbows and OK Computer, where they recorded OK Computer, and ten years later they recorded in, oh. Uh, oh, in Rainbows, and then the songs in into Splice together. Mm hmm. Okay. More information, Google, OK, rainbows or in computers or something like that. Uh, let, let me know now what is it. OK, so that's the sheet music for, for the album. So that's mm. how you can play the album. So you learn how to play this song from here? Yeah. Mm. Wow. OK. okay. This is the happiest days of our lives. The, the other one was, uh, was another brick in the wall part. One. Yeah, it was another brick in the wall part one. Do you know yeah. what? I make so many mistakes on the on this um, when we're recording these videos. You know, and people always send me messages and like say, "No, it means this," so, and I'm like, "Oh, shit, it does." <laughs> I just forgot. But because you you forgot, or it's just because it was there in front of me. I was like, "Oh yeah, so this is before another brick in the wall part two. So that was another brick in the wall part one. This the happiest days of our lives, and then it's another brick in the wall part two. Oh, okay. Yeah? Okay. It, it, this is a part with the teacher. Yeah. So that that's the teacher there. And when the the children sing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that our little son? He was singing that song. 
was he? Yeah, because a teacher in the school they they talked. Oh about. yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, Sorry for any mistakes that I make. I always make loads and I remember later or people tell me and then I'm like, oh shit, that's right. <laughs> My boring Won't anything we did Exposing every weakness However By the kids That's so creepy as well. <laughs> they got the lights coming out of the eyes. It's like he's watching you from miles away, yeah? It's like a, an authority mm -hmm. kind of thing, yeah? And this is so clear as well, the footage. The authority in England. Huh? Yeah. The authority, the teacher, I was authority. Yeah, but like it, it's for everybody. So it's not just like the, the teachers in England. It's all about uh, author, authoritarianism, like uh, conformity. You know, people people who are telling you what to do. In. Oh. That's what them big blocks are, yeah. Yo, it sounds amazing, really. Yeah. But, well, but this is the first time that I say that about this song, because I heard it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you can see the concert and you can see the singer and the band, it blows your mind. But this is this is something I, I was, know, I was saying energy. to you. It was something I was saying to you the other week because you've heard the songs before, but you've never really like listened to them. Mm. So when you sit down with somebody and you're listening to it, you, you you tend to take a bit more notice. It's kind of like listening to it for the first time. Mm. And the voice of the singer mm. is fantastic. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know how to express this, but he got like a. I don't know. It's like a. It's very melodic voice. It, he got like a specific note in in his throat that I don't know. I I didn't hear another singer got the same note that he can do it. She's married, by the way. Uh huh. <laughs> She's married, by the way. I, wow! Really. Sound is so simple, 
Mm-hmm. Yes, Dave, uh, he's playing, I don't know what guitar is, or he's playing, uh, but, um, he's just, he's just strumming it. Yeah. yeah. It's simple. Yeah, I think it's like D minor or something like that. Uh-huh. Do you play that song mm -hmm. in your guitar? Mm -hmm. And it's difficult or no? No. no? So Dave is playing a, a Les Paul, a Gibson there. Mm -hmm. Looks like a Les Paul. I've got one of them as well. Do you got one? Yeah. It's, um, I never imagined that I'd play one of them. And it's strange for Dave as well because Dave doesn't really play uh, Gibson. He tends to play like Fender. Mm. But, you know, it, I like playing it. I think it's the one I've played most this year. Mm. to play live they did used to uh, improvise a lot as well because on on the album this this is a lot shorter mm. so when obviously uh when they're playing live they don't really have time restrictions set by the length of the the disc so it is sometimes go a little bit longer yeah you, you told me before that they they are three members in the band no no there's uh there's four there's four. Oh, okay yeah it used to be five one point I think it was Dave Gilmore, Roger Waters, Nick Mason, Richard Wright, Alan and Sid. Well, Sid, Sid was replaced by Dave Gilmore. Mm -hmm.
No, no. Oh, oh is that Dave? Yeah, could so? be. Could be. The, the footage is not clear, but it, it could be. That's Richard. Richard Wright. Yeah. He was the, the uh, piano keyboard player. Mm. Yeah, but it could be Dave. And then that goes into mother. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. Thank you wow. for that it recommendation. Was... Enjoyable. Yeah, and I'm glad that you that, that you showed me today the the concert. I know only any any video. Yeah, I mean I think everything that we're gonna do today is live. I've done a few live videos today, like recorded the batch with, with the, the boys. So I think I'm going to carry that on as well, because you, you get a, another uh, aspect of the, the groups that we're going to be seeing. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Joseph? Yes. Uh, I assume that this one is the new album? This is the remaster, yes. And this one is the original? Yes. Oh. When did you buy this one? 1998, when I first started listening to Pink Floyd. So, uh, can you hold it? Yeah, so I can see it, it, it's the same, including the disc. Oh my, something. Oh. No, it's not the same. So it's different. Yeah, so that's like the format of the the remaster project, what they were doing at the time. What, everything looked like, like them discs. Yeah, no, it's not the same. And this one is beautiful too. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like even even the, the sheet music that we were looking at, I'm thinking of photos in it as well. Like, I love it. Wow. Yeah. And this is another concept. In this photograph, he was older. No? Roger? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it might have been. Yeah. It's possible the tour went on for a couple of years. 1980, 1981. And, and now he travels by himself? Yeah, he left Pink Floyd after a couple of years after this. Like mm -hmm. 1984, 1985, I think. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for downloading, please. Um, leave comments in the comment section below if you'd like to see us uh, watch something else, react to it, and uh, hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much uh, for the recommendation because really I enjoy it. So thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.